we've had quite an eventful day today when it comes to, well, really YouTube, but really when it comes to the uh, the world of Dragon Ball. We've got a couple of new updates here. One from the official Dragon Ball website uh, with a tour of Shintani's workspace, which I'm going to get into here in a moment. But also today, we got a five-second, actually it was last night technically, or early in the morning here, depending on where you live. During the One Piece special that aired on Fuji TV, there was a five-second clip of Dragon Ball Super Broly that aired featuring Goku versus Broly. Now, if you're following me on social media, Facebook or Twitter, you've already seen this. If you're not following me on social media, what are you waiting for? Facebook.com slash Geekdom101, Twitter.com slash Emperor Big D. I will show you all the clip and keep in mind, okay... This aired during the One Piece special. It's only five seconds, and it's incomplete. I have to make sure people understand that because this is not how the final film will look. It appears like they're using a modified background that was already in Resurrection F. The movie's not finished yet by a long shot. They have tons of stuff left to animate. So they're probably just putting this out there as like a little mini teaser. This is not how the movie will look, but it is a preview of the Goku Broly fight. So let's go ahead and get to the clip right now. It's only five seconds long. Take a good look at it. Here we go. Now, as you can see, Goku and Broly collide. There's that explosion, which is very artificially made. Um, it won't look like that in the final version, I don't think. And then we have a cut of Goku with a big right hand to Broly's face. He's in blue. Broly's in either base or powered up base, as they call it. Uh, he's definitely in action. You know, Broly coming back here. As you can see, the background looks just like Resurrection F. That's not how the final film will look at all. Again, this is just very unfinished stuff that they aired during the One Piece special. There's a weird look at Broly. And also, this is not really the best quality of the clip either, okay? This, is, this was a TV rip. Um, Broly coming on Goku, big shot. And that's it. That's pretty much a very, very small shot there. Preview of what the movie will look like, and it looks pretty great. So... Over here on the Dragon Ball official site, we've got, obviously, the... We've seen this before, but now we have a much clearer look at Super Saiyan God Vegeta, which was also revealed just a couple days ago. I did a video on it uh, in the magazine, like what he looks like within the in the actual movie. This is the Shintani design, and really, it, it looks exactly like blue, which there's actually a shot of blue down below, except with like the red hair, but it's the first time we've ever seen it in anime form. So, moving on, uh, these translations, of course, were done by Jake, um, so thank you, Jake, as always, and here we have an introduction of what's going to be a new character, but not really a new character. So, going down, you know, we can just kind of see Shintani's workspace here. Um, just a couple of tidbits. Number one, he keeps the original Dragon Ball manga at his desk uh, as he works. So he always references the original Toriyama manga, always looks at it for ideas and to make sure all the characters line up with how they used to look in the manga, which is why Goku looks like he does more so in the manga than the recent, you know, anime and movies. Tadayoshi Amamoro was the supervisor for the for the previous movies and um, and the TV show, and all he was director Resurrection F. So his Dragon Ball characters tend to look more. I don't know what the word is. I guess more rigid is the right word I've been hearing from people who are really experts in the animation field. More rigid. This is more loose, more like the original manga, which I think is a good look. I mean, it's a good look. Also, uh, Shintani likes to keep figurines by his desk, these figures right here, to help him, you know, with the 3D kind of look of the film. So, I mean, that's good that he's got these references there to help him out. Now, a couple of interesting things. Let's keep going. There we have the Beerus and Whis design, Piccolo, Goku. We've seen these already before. Here we have Vegeta, black, yellow, red, blue. And they're they're pretty similar. I mean, really, it's just a color swap for Vegeta. Uh, Frieza, of course, Paragus. Um, and we're going to get into this character right here, okay? Um, this is Kikono, and we have indeed got confirmation now from this that Kikono is the same character from Dragon Ball Minus. Now, I had originally thought that they were related, that they weren't the same character, but Kikono is indeed the same character, which means that he survived this entire time, that he is still one of Frieza's survivors from all the way back in the Dragon Ball Minus era. So, you know, again, I'm not going to talk about the whole canon thing, but Dragon Ball Minus was Toriyama's version of the Bardock events, and they're going to factor that in and weigh that into this story. I don't know how it's going to be in the movie yet, though. Like, we don't know 
what his role is, what Bardock's role is, if he's even in the movie, even though I'm pretty sure that he is. I've done videos. People have been asking me, hey, have you done a video about Gogeta and Bardock and Dragon Ball Super Broly? Yes, I have. Go through my freaking Dragon Ball Super News playlist, and you can see those videos. I'll probably link them at the end of this one to make things easier for everyone. But, yeah, I did cover uh, the Bardock thing and Gogeta possibly being in the movie. Bardock is all but confirmed. Gogeta is a maybe. We don't know for sure, but it is... Bardock is pretty much all but confirmed. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, I, I can't say 100%, but he's, I'm with certainty, I, I can tell you he's probably going to be in the movie. And then, uh, moving on, here we have uh, Barry Blue, and she has these pens. I don't really know what these pens do. This is the first time, first time that we've seen a real focus on these pens, but she... I don't know, she's supposed to be somebody who can boss Frieza around, who tries to boss Frieza around, even though Frieza is her boss. Um, so, there you go. And here, this right here is a look at the new character, which I don't even want to call it a character, even though it kind of is a character. It's a design. Um, basically, this is a giant bug monster, and basically, the whole idea is that he has this stretchy tongue that has to like looks like some kind of blade at the end of it, or some kind of stinger. And he is a foe that they will face that is going to be in the film. Um, but there's no details of, as, as far as who he is and what he does. Except for the fact that it says that this monster appears early in the movie. He appears early in the film. He will not be a character that will be... Uh, he's not like... A, like, like Herms made the joke about it being like Broly's secret final form. Uh, no. They don't tell you anything. They don't tell you who the monster is, what the monster is. But Shintani says that it's near the start of the movie. So... This is probably going to get killed off by Broly or Frieza or somebody, this this monster. Um, it's a creepy looking thing, but it is going to be in the movie. So that is a new creature, I guess you can say. And remember, remember what they said about this whole thing. They said before that this movie is going to be a space opera. So I can definitely expect to feel a little bit more like Star Wars where we might, and again, I don't know for sure, but based on what they said, we might see new planets, different planets. We're going to have flashbacks, of course, to Planet Vegeta and things like that. Maybe Planet Plant, maybe Planet Sadala Universe 7 version. I mean, who knows? Planet Plant is Planet Vegeta, by the way. Just clarifying that. Planet Sadala is the original Saiyan home world. We may get a flashback to that. We don't know. We Probably not for that, but definitely for Vegeta. And we may explore like new worlds and new planets in space like i actually do want a little bit of like again not like space exploration like gt was but like you know i would like to show more of the universe i want to see more of frieza's you know empire that we haven't seen before you know things like that excite me you know what i'm saying things like that are very interesting but if we go up here i wanted to get a real good look at something here uh, i don't know if i even glanced it over with you guys yeah right here this shot looks to be this is basically a shot of that monster it's hard to see there um i'm gonna try and zoom in a little tiny bit here that that looks to be a shot of of the of a drawing of that monster and the, the monster is definitely a toriyama s design we're not sure if this is actually designed by toriyama because these character design sheets are shintani's design sheets not toriyama's you know this is all shintani work I don't think we've seen the original Toriyama photos for all these characters. I mean, we have when he first designed them back in the day, but I'm not sure if he redesigned them for this film. We do know that Broly definitely got a redesign, but I mean, the more modern super characters. Yeah, these right here are just Shinta now Hiro Shintani's, um, you know, like I said, sheets that the animators are going to be using, um, you know, to reference as they animate the film. Uh, this is an interesting thing, too. He's got a, a side shot of Piccolo there, and we're not really sure what Piccolo's going to... Again, that's another character that I have no idea what he does in this film. Uh, maybe he takes out that monster. I don't know. Maybe he's the one who takes out the monster. I couldn't tell you. Anyways, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to talk about here in this video. Uh, we have, like I said, that five-second trailer. We have a look at Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I'm expecting more stuff next week. Um, also, Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the anime will continue in uh, September, but we don't have a date on that yet. We don't know exactly what day it will air. We'll know soon, and uh, I'll be sure to cover that. I did do a manga review for Chapter or chapter 13, Part 3 of the Prison Planet arc. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video for y'all to check out. 
Uh, you should have that link popping up on your screen any minute now, so it should be there. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great rest of your evening or morning or wherever you're at. And uh, I'll see y'all very soon. Oh, and tomorrow night here on the channel, Broly, how does Broly get beat? I'm going to talk about it because there, there, there could be something that somebody, I, I saw it on the, on the web, an interesting theory tomorrow here on the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Come back for that. Have a nice one.